What's up everyone, this is Taiwan Hubbard with H2 Hub and we're here to do a demonstration video for the Nanobubble Pure H2 inhalation system. This is the 300 milliliter per minute variant of the device uh, and recently this device underwent our um, evaluation for recommendation purposes uh, and, the, and the device passed all of our minimal recommended standards. Uh, right now it appears that 120 milliliters to 200 or I should say uh, two to four percent, which is equivalent to 120 to 240 milliliters per minute of hydrogen gas um, uh, being administered to the human body, uh, appears to have therapeutic uh, potential uh, based on the preclinical and clinical data. And this system um, supplies more than that. Uh, and so we have done all the testing for it, and we want to go ahead and do a video demonstrating its functionality um, um, and telling you guys about our recommendation of it. And so the first thing I want to really do is we'll go through uh, what comes with the system um, and uh, the basic setup uh, for the system uh, and then its functionality. Uh, so let's begin. Okay, so let's go over some of the components. Um, the system's actually going to come with obviously the generator itself uh, and then they're going to um, supply a nasal cannula. Um, it comes with one nasal cannula, but um, it's pretty cool to actually have uh, extra... Um, cannula tips, which I will show you. It comes with the manual uh, and um, you can actually access uh, the English version of the manual um, via our website. Uh, but it will come with a manual. Uh, um, obviously, you know what the manual is to go ahead and show you um, how the system operates. And then <clears throat> They will have um, extra uh, nasal uh, cannula tips. Uh, and so um, once this one gets old or it gets worn out, you have spare ones. And then the system will also come with what is already set up in the device. And so it will come with a humidifier cup. Uh, and this humidifier cup holds distilled water. Um, and other than that, that is the components and materials that will come with the system. Now I'll go ahead and turn the system around and let you guys see what the backside looks like and talk about a few things on um, a few things there. Okay, so on the backside of the system, um, it's very simplistic, and what you will see is they actually have uh, the reservoir uh, drain port. Uh, it actually has a little screw tip here, a little thumb screw um, that you can take off. Um, and then it has a uh, green plug uh, that you can remove and it's, this will drain the reservoir. Uh, this device requires only distilled water um, uh, and that goes actually into the reservoir here. And so it has a, has a cap here uh, that you can pull off and uh, you pour your distilled water here. It contains approximately around a liter of water that can be uh, filled into here. And then uh, you, you'll see here it has a master switch, uh, and this turns the system on, and it'll give you some specs about the device as well. Um, this system is the 110 variant of the device. Uh, they do have a 220, uh, so depending on where you live, um, uh, and uh, we can help. We can help in that regard um, in communicating with them about which system uh, would be suited for you and where you live. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and turn the system around and we will go over some of the functionality and the humidifier cup. The next thing we'll go over is the humidifier cup. Um, and I already have mine set up, um, but uh, it will come to you uh, with this piece uh, and the lid uh, disconnected. And it just screws on. Um, it just screws on and it uh, requires only distilled water. Uh, and it gives you, um, gives you the max level and the min level uh, uh, for filling it up with distilled water. Uh, and this is what you will actually connect your nasal cannula to. And so uh, they have a really um, interesting and cool design with their humidifier cup, which makes it very easy uh, for connecting your cannula and putting it uh, and connecting it to the system. So what you end up doing is, is when you have it off, you go ahead and take, um, take this part of your cannula and you just press it onto the tip of the humidifier. The, and then you will slot it into this holster. 
then you'll push it into place. You don't have to push too hard, but just enough to where it will cost uh, a, a good seal. Um, and then other than that, your nasal cannula is fully set up uh, to use and uh, you'll power the system on after you have uh, added the water. Now that I have the master switch turned on on the back side of the system, we can actually power the system on. Uh, you will notice here on the actual touch panel of the device, uh, there are five buttons. Uh, there, there is an on off button, there is a mode button, a hour button, a minute button, and the start and pause button. And so the on off button um, just allows you to turn the system on, so you just hold it down uh, until the system powers itself on. Uh, and then the mode button actually allows you to set the milliliter per minute output of the device. Uh, this device ranges from 150 milliliters per minute to 300 milliliters per minute, and the mode button will let you switch between that. And so it'll go from 1. Uh, 50 to 200 to 300 milliliters per minute. Uh, the hour uh, button uh, will let you set the session time for the inhalation session um, up to six hours. And uh, and then the minute button um, allows you to set the minutes and the minutes go up to 60 minutes. And so um, effectively the system can allow you to do an inhalation session up to seven hours. And now the start button actually will start the actual electrolysis process to produce the hydrogen gas um, and it allows you to pause it. Uh, and so let's say if you had to use the restroom um, uh, while you're using the device, but you didn't want to end your session, you can pause it, take the cannula off, go use the restroom, come back and put the cannula back on and actually uh, push the start pause button again uh, and allow you to continue your inhalation session time without, um, without missing any of that time. So uh, we can go ahead and um, set the system, I'll set it to 300 milliliters per minute um, and I'll set the hours to, let's say, two hours and then I'll go ahead and push the start button and now it's producing um, hydrogen gas for inhalation purposes and the system actually produces 99.99% um, H2 uh, and, uh, and um, the system uh, is very easy to use. Uh, this device um, uh, is actually uh, recommended by us on our website uh, and you can actually get the system for a discount through H2Hub. Um, and so if you want to have more information about the system, look at the manual, look at uh, the specs of the, of the actual device, um, as well as all of its certifications, you can go to our website, uh, h2hub.com, uh, and you can view it there under our, under our recommended product. And so uh, this is the demonstration video for the Nanobubble um, Pure H2 system uh, uh, for uh, Pure H2 uh, hydrogen inhalation system. And uh, you can catch us next time at the H2 Hub.